Hi everyone, it's Leona with Leona's Designs, back with Junk Journal July 2023, Create with Scrimping Mommy Prompts. And today is day 25, and I chose the prompt Vintage. I created what I think is a vintage page, <clears throat> and I wasn't able to uh, come on and post a process video for you today. Uh, I just wasn't able to do that, but I thought I would come on now and just do kind of a show and tell of what I did do today. Um, it's pretty simple, so I'll kind of walk you through what, what I did, and I think you'll get the idea. This little dress I created uh, from a tissue box, box top. And I do have another video where I created a dress using this. If you watched that video, you would recognize this little dress I made um, using this as the bodice. And then I just added strips of paper and lace and ribbon to create the skirt. And then I left it open at the top and I put a little tag in there. So I'll link that video below. If you haven't seen it, you can watch that, how I created it. And uh, I, I'm looking for ways to use these <clears throat> tissue box toppers. So I thought today I would create a different kind of dress with using this for the bodice. Because uh, the other day I was at Goodwill and I saw this little stationary box of uh, little dresses that were notepads. And when you lifted them up, they had a notepad underneath. And I thought they were kind of pricey for Goodwill, so I didn't buy them. But I thought, oh, I can make those myself with my little tissue box toppers uh, for the bodice. And then I just, instead of making a skirt like this, I just cut some fabric and glued it on the top and then just left the fabric long to make a long skirt. So this, uh, this, first of all, I cut, you know, to make the waist and then I covered it with fabric and left the fabric long, covered it on both sides. And I did sew the sides. You don't have to, you could glue them. But then I, when I glued it down to the page, I glued just this little tab here that folds. So, so it would be a flip up. before I glued this to the page, I decorated it and I also glued down the paper underneath. And how I decorated it was just a little bit of lace and some of these gems that I have on hand, a piece of ribbon, pretty simple. And I think it turned out really, really pretty. So to kind of go along <coughs> with that and to kind of cover the page more, I thought I wanted to make a little hat and a little purse. So for the hat, I just used uh, my circle punches, one inch and a two inch, and I cut out uh, two circles out of a junk mail flyer. It's kind of the same uh, strength as cardstock. So I cut those out and then I covered them with fabric and when I glued this one inch one on, I crunched up a little bit of tissue paper and glued that under the fabric to make the little top of the hat. And then I glued a piece of ribbon around it. So pretty simple to do. And then the little purse, I wasn't sure how to make that, so I searched on YouTube and I come across the video 
by Pam at the paper I'll post. She posted this video three years ago on how to make these tiny little purses. And they're just really easy to make. Just made out of cardstock and fabric and decorated up. So I will link that video in the description box so you can go check out her video of how to make these little purses. They're really easy. You just kind of draw the image of the purse on some fabric or on some cardstock and then you just cover it and embellish it. And then I added a quote or a phrase there. Embrace those things that make you unique. So I think this all turned out very nice. I'm really happy with that I'm able to use these to make these pretty dresses. And I like both of the dresses and they make great additions to the journals. So if you're saving these from the tissue box tops, if you're saving them, this is two different ways you can use them in your journals. You just need to make the bodice by cutting out the waist and then covering it with either paper or fabric. Thank you for watching. I hope I inspired you to create maybe some little dresses yourself. Either way, as a flip up or as a little tag holder. And I hope to see you tomorrow for day 26. Have a great evening.